Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Today I want to talk about i7s in laptops versus i7s in PCs. Now the reason why I want to talk about this is that we seem to have a new generation coming up who don't like to hardwire everything. They love to be on the Wi-Fi, and they love to have powerful laptops that they never take anywhere, that they leave on their desks. Well, sometimes they might, but they like to have powerful laptops so heavy they could never actually take them anywhere and uh, to do powerful things on these. Now, I've had situations where I've gotten people i7 laptops and uh, they just weren't happy with it. They just weren't happy with what they were be able to do. I mean, like for example, a... Uh, I've had people angry with me because I had them on Carbon X1 systems and they had these giant databases in Excel sheets that just took so long to do and they were like, well this i7 system isn't doing my uh, Excel sheet and since this Excel sheet isn't working it must be the build. Somebody built this wrong. Nevin, you built this wrong. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, okay. So there is something here. I've done some tests and ultimately i7 laptops are not as good as i7 PCs. You can't compare them. Well, you can compare them, but the i7 laptop always sucks. Let's get into these tests and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so here is my mining grid. Over here we can see I got some cell phones hooked up to that. And up here I got this system on the world community grid. Over here, the chaos at the back, I got more systems hooked up. And with this, we can see the difference between the i7 PCs and the i7 laptops. Now with NiceHash, which is what I use to mine right now, you can go to the webpage and you can see exactly what kind of output you're getting and exactly how your systems are doing. So here we have a laptop that I have in the back. It's an i7, 6th generation, 6500U. CPU at 2.5 gigahertz, and I'm not even getting one kilo hash out of it. It's uh, 0.69, right? So, sixth generation 6500 i7 laptop. Let's check out a desktop with a sixth generation chip. So, i7 sixth generation 6700 is getting more than double of the speed, and they're both mining at about 50%. Well, at least it was last time I checked, it just switched up. But seriously, they're both mining at about 50% and we're getting more than double out of the CPU that comes uh, from a build that's ultimately a PC build. Now, I got th this chip, this motherboard, out of a Barracuda firewall and I put it into another case and yeah, it's running pretty good. So let's keep going. Let's see what kind of other results we can get. Here I got an i7 third generation and uh, yeah, it's not really putting out so much, 0.4, then again, the low it is at 70%. Let's see what this one is, 50%. I, yeah, I expect a little bit better out of it than that. And we're coming down here, I believe this is a third generation, third generation i7, 2.31 uh, kilo hashes. Normally it's running at 50%, but it's only at 51 right now. Down a little bit farther, this is another laptop, no keyboard, once again, 6th generation, not doing so well, not doing so well. So, once again, ultimately, what I'm getting at here is you can have a laptop. Okay, this is an i7 6th generation, and we're doing pretty good. And this one doesn't even have a fan, and uh, it's supposed to. I got three giant heat sinks sitting on top of the CPU. Mining Bitcoin to the moon back here, my guys. And then down here... We get an old, old Xeon at uh, 2.26 kilohashes. It's just interesting that a 6th generation PC versus a 6th generation laptop would have such big differences. What I'm, what I'm getting at here is if you get a new i7 laptop, and then if you get a new i7 PC, you can't compare them. You just can't compare them. 
Okay, so I guess you can compare them, but all in all, the i7 in the laptop is just going to suck compared to the i7 that's in the PC. And it's an interesting thing to see these days, especially when we're in a time and place where kids really like to have laptops. I notice the younger guys always like to have the laptops. They always like to have the mobility, even though they never actually use it. That laptop's almost always on their desk. They love having it, and uh, they love using Wi-Fi. They hate hardwiring it, and it's just like a new younger generation idea that uh, that laptops are better than PCs so remember folks if you want true power always make sure that you go with a PC and not a laptop because you're definitely sacrificing uh, power for mobility but we always knew this right anyways folks that's it for me Nev from Nev's Tech Bits like and subscribe yada yada all those YouTube things and uh, take care of each other folks have a good one